In Hebrews chapter 8, the author of Hebrews is laying out various reasons why we can know God. One of those reasons is because Jesus ushered in a better covenant, a better contract, a better agreement between God and humanity. Here is what he writes in the second half of verse 6. He, that's Jesus, is also mediator of a better covenant, which was established on better promises. So Christ is the mediator. He's the arbitrator of a better covenant. A covenant is a contract, an agreement between two parties. The mediator is the arbitrator, the intermediary, the go-between, the agent, guaranteeing the performance of all the terms laid out in the covenant. The old covenant was mediated by angels representing God and by Moses representing man. Two agents, like with a modern-day real estate transaction. The new covenant is mediated by Jesus, representing both God and man. One agent, one perfect agent. Jesus is the mediator of a better covenant. Better because it's established on better promises. Two parties of a covenant make promises. The promises of the old covenant were not as good as the promises of the new covenant. The old covenant was based on the Jewish law. Our part was to keep the Jewish law, the first five books of the Bible especially. The emphasis was on human performance. God's part was to bless or curse, depending on humanity's obedience or disobedience. But the new covenant is based on grace, on unmerited favor, unearned favor, on Christ's performance on our behalf, including his once-for-all sacrifice. Our part is to receive Christ by faith and to walk in grace. This means we need not try to earn God's favor. We as believers already have God's favor. This also means we need not try to be good enough to approach God. The truth is we can't be good enough. But Jesus was more than good enough. He was perfect on our behalf. So we have his position of right standing applied to us. We can approach God just as we are to receive the mercy and the grace that we need. A gerbil will run and run on its wheel, getting nowhere. We need not run and run. We can know God personally, just as we are. And he gives us mercy and grace and strength so we can live wholeheartedly for him. We've got a better covenant. Thanks for listening.